What is up YouTube? It's time for an adventure and one of the adventures that I'm going to be doing today, tomorrow and the next day actually, is towing. And I'm towing with the Red Frontier. Now normally I tow everything, or I tow this, which is a 24 foot, I don't remember, uh, trailer. It's got some little pop out things. It's uh, pretty light considering its size. Normally I tow it with the Armada. See, Armada's got a good tow engine and whatnot, but tomorrow I'm going to the King of the Hammers and I'm taking the red truck because you can't go to the King of the Hammers in the old family vehicle. You gotta take your play toys. And I don't have a toy hauler and this wouldn't fit in a toy hauler and my racetrack's not done and it's definitely not fitting in a toy hauler. It's too wide. So let's get back to the point. This thing, as you can see right here, is 2252 kilograms dry weight and then with a full tank of water it's 2500 pounds so it's roughly 6,000 pounds so that's like 700 pounds below the max tow rating of my truck so technically speaking I am all legal and good to go however that is the max I mean there's probably couple hundred pounds worth of bedding and food and beer in there uh, right now so here's what I got going on right now a couple things uh, especially when you're towing with uh, towing with something that's max uh, we're gonna have the the load distribution hitch so it's got the bars I'll show that when I hook it up a little bit secondly brake controller so I had a brake controller on the Armada and what that entails is if you have the tow package it's already wired up to accept the brake controller and what that what it comes with is you get a when you get a brake controller you need to get the adapter harness so it plugs into that and i'll show you it's super simple to install right here you just plug it in that's it and then you run your wires and you normally mount that brake controller up on the dash or whatever and that allows your trailer to get signal to the brakes so that when you hit the brakes you're not just trying to stop that thing with your truck's brakes uh, trailer actually has brakes obviously fairly well known to most people but uh it's just something that uh, gee whiz so it's super easy to install the brake controller they charge you a lot if you go somewhere and buy a trailer and stuff like that i mean you know they'll throw it in sometimes but you kind of pay for it no matter what so i just installed re i actually reinstalled my rear bumper and hitch and I kind of had to jimmy rig my my things because normally I have this bumper on right there but since I'm going out to the desert and I'm going to be towing my trailer so that uh, me and Cody you'll see him later can uh, hang out and stay warm it's gonna be like 30 at night so yeah we're getting all ready tonight and getting ready to tow it out there so I'll check in with you a little bit and get ready for this adventure what's up guys I'm on the road, and I have the trailer hooked up to the Frontier. I gotta say, <laughs> she's, a she's a little anemic when it comes to towing. Wow, the Frontier can do it. It can absolutely do it. I'm towing with no problems, I'd say. Uh, at the same time, if you go up a big uh, hill, you're gonna be up in the 5,000 RPMs. To, to do any acceleration and it'll sit between third and fourth gear most of the time. Overdrive's off, I'm getting about, about four miles to the gallon. Right now I'm showing six average. So as far as the weight and the handling, I don't, I, it feels great. So I don't know if that's a big deal, but the power is lacking this, I mean, I'd love to throw a VQ in this thing and then tow and see what the big, you know, see the feel the difference. I will say that my Alcan, because I have an Alcan uh, leaf leaf spring pack, and it's pretty old now. I want to say it's two or three years old, or maybe three years old. And I put it through the ringer with off roading and stuff like that, and having loads on it. So I think it's lost a little bit of its arch. So I think my leaf pack's pretty flat, so it doesn't have a load leaf in it, but I mean, it's, you know, it's progressive leaf spring. So it's a little bouncy in the back, but it's staying pretty planted. I'm not noticing any crazy surging or anything like that, 
or wagging. Um, probably, you know, the trailer's set up pretty, pretty quick, good. It's not, it it's not super back heavy or anything weird like that. So, and again, I have that load leveler hitch or that load distribution hitch as well as like the anti-wag. So anyways, that's my first impressions towing with this thing. I think this is the first time I've towed this heavy for this long. I did tow uh, my race truck on a trailer one time. That was mostly over just flat. And that was, I mean, that was a two hour drive. I am just starting off from a start right here and I'll let you guys, you can really definitely hear the exhaust turning right now and I'll show you what it takes to get for 16 miles up to 60 miles an hour it's about 4,000 rpms though it's not bad I if you're gonna buy this trailer and this was the primary tow rig I wouldn't suggest it however if you're in a you know if you want to borrow a friend's trailer that's you know five thousand six thousand pounds on oh, here we're breaking see For some reason my brake controller is um, it works but I gotta use the the hand control on it so for some reason I don't know that's probably a wire that's corroded or something like that so for those of you that don't know brake controller also has like a uh, auxiliary like a manual mode so normally you'd, you'd set how much braking you want the trailer to do so it's not it's not pulling you back but at the same time you're not feeling it push you and you can change the sensitivity on here normally this would be hooked up but if you can see that you can change the sensitivity on there so you when you brake it breaks the trailer for some reason it's it's not seeing my my brakes but again, I just plugged this in and hopped in the truck. Like I was saying, if you were to if you were to buy this as your primary tow vehicle and you wanted to buy a 5,000 to 6,000 pound trailer, you know, a 5,000 pound trailer with wet weight, you know, you're looking at another few 300 pounds or so with a big tank or something like that, maybe 400 if you got a really big tank on it. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. It's it, it's really really taxing the truck and you know you're, you're gonna probably uh, get that transmission heated up real good especially if you're in hilly areas if you're at elevation <clears throat> so you know what I think maybe down in the 4,000 range you wouldn't have any problems well it, you know I, I just don't think it would struggle nearly as much but I think once you get over 4,000 you're really kind of taxing the truck a bit and uh, it's just not it's not as enjoyable to tell with you know, you're always like thinking about it as, a, as opposed to when I'm towing with the Armada, I'm just yanking it around and it's, you know, it's not hunting for gears. It's not like when I'm going uphill in this thing and it, and, and I'm at 5,000 or five, 6,000 RPMs to try and stay going 55, 60 miles an hour. And then it drops down to 4,000 RPM. You can feel that transmission just, ah, um, not wanting to, you know, try, trying to hold hold that gear as it moves backwards you know as the rpms dive and it's trying to get back into the into the power so again you know it's 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 a great truck and the fact that it's doing this much as well as it considering I, I wouldn't i wouldn't suggest towing this amount regularly that's my review for you right now once we get there i'll probably uh pop out and I was gonna show you guys when I hooked it up, but all hooked up, but it was at nighttime and, or I'm sorry, it was this morning when it was all dark and all of a sudden I had a trailer light issue, but that was just an unplugged connector that I didn't fully see. So, of course, you know, middle of the morning, it's dark outside and I'm crawling under the truck, checking fuses and stuff. So, yes, <clears throat> I'll hop out and get video once I get to the hammers and uh, maybe we'll have a separate video of the hammers and, uh, and all the fun that we're gonna have out there. 